Joining me on the broadcast is none other than Indian cricket team's budding star, Jemima Rodriguez, who seems to have discovered the singer and musician in her during the lockdown. And uh, we're going to talk to her about everything from life to the lockdown to cricket and how much she's missing it. So, Jemima, firstly, welcome to Republic. And uh, I'm you sure so you're much. aware that uh, your video where you were playing the guitar has been playing a lot on our channel. So all our viewers <laughs> are getting exposed to your other talents as well. Are you uh, now going through thoughts of pursuing a music career full time? <laughs> no, not really. I think after the lockdown, I'll focus on cricket only. I think that I'm better at cricket than at music. So I'll be focusing on that. And yeah, I've been getting so many calls, you know, from my friends and relatives that, you know, you've been coming on this news channel, Republic news channel and all that. So I'm like, yeah, really? I mean, I never thought all that would happen. I just did it, you know, for the social media, just to you know send some love to my fans out there. But yeah, I'm like really happy. No, it's been very interesting to watch you, no doubt. But uh, otherwise, on the whole, how has the lockdown been for you? And uh, what have you been doing apart from making mashup videos? Are you also into cooking and other things as well? Uh, so far, the lockdown has been good. I mean, it's kind of something different for us cricketers because we're so used to traveling and so used to, you know, playing tournaments and matches. So this is something very different for us. But uh, looking at the brighter side, you know, we don't get much time to be at home or be with the family. So this was, you know, uh, something that I got a lot of time to be at home, be with my family, enjoy these moments. And uh, cooking, I have not been doing quite as much, but yeah, definitely little like helping my mom, sometimes baking a cake, sometimes, you know, just cooking something just for fun, just to try out something new. So yeah, all this is going on. Of course. And, uh, you know, Jemima, after the T20 World Cup, how have things been for you and what have you been doing at home to especially sharpen your skills given the fact that uh, you know you are obviously not able to play right now how much are you missing it yeah to be very honest i'm really missing cricket i'm really missing being out there with the indian team being on the ground uh, but uh, because it's a lockdown you can't do really much you know you have to follow the instructions given by the government and you know you have to just uh, be at home because it's for our own good at the end and you know as as long as we do what we have been said, I think, you know, things will get but, uh, better faster. But yeah, I've been working out at home. I've been doing my home workouts, uh, even though, you know, there's not, it's not like a real gym like we normally go to. But yeah, uh, I've learned in this lockdown that you don't need something, you know, really big or massive. You can do a lot with the little that you have. So I've been doing that and I've also been uh, practicing, uh, doing some drills with my dad and doing uh, plastic ball knockings. So I'm like back to how I started playing with the plastic ball. Now I'm back to that again because uh, I don't have a really big house. I have a very small house, but it's important that I stay in touch with cricket and make sure, you know, that I am developing my skills. So, yeah. Absolutely. And that was exactly going to be my next question to you. In terms of fitness, what is the message you would like to give to all your fans? How is it that you are keeping fit and, you know, in the lockdown? How is it that a day into Jemima's life look like? Uh, yeah, so first, coming to your first question, I think to all my fans out there, I would just say, you know, uh, make fitness a routine of your life because, you know, that's what's going to help you. That's because the body is where we live. In. And this is the area where we need to take care of it. So I think, you know, fitness is one of the best areas we can, uh, one of the best ways we can take care of our body. And, you know, you don't need to have much. You can just use your body weight itself to do your workouts. You can do push-ups, you can do squats, you can do lunges, you can do so many exercises. I think so many are there already on YouTube. You know, you can follow these home workouts and it will just take like one hour of your day. So it's not much. So it's going to actually help you all a lot. So I would just say to everybody, just try and make a fitness a routine of your life. And, you know, you'll see your life change drastically. And uh, a day in my life would be like, so I wake up, uh, I eat my breakfast. I either, I pray, I watch, then after that, I maybe watch Netflix or just uh, chill with my family. Uh, and then after that, there's always some interviews or something or the other lined up. So uh, we've start. I and my friends, Priti Mandana, we had started Double Trouble. So that shooting were going on. And then after that, I practiced with my dad in the building. And after that, 
I do my fitness workout. Then yeah, then after that I eat food and all that, and then that's like my day in the lockdown. A lot of us have been Netflixing, so I'm going to ask you which shows have you been binging on, and uh, what is the food that uh, you go out for the most during the lockdown, especially now that you can cheat as you want. <laughs> so uh, what I've been Netflixing is, uh, I think it's more than two months. I've like watched a lot of Netflix. I was watching now. Currently, what I'm watching is Suits. Uh, otherwise, I was watching. Uh, was that Brooklyn Nine Nine? That's one of my favorite uh, TV shows. Mm. And yeah, there are other movies and all that mm. also that I'm watching. And uh, sorry, what is the other question? Just your favorite food, all that you've been eating, and your fans oh, yeah. also want to know which of your teammates you've been speaking to during the lockdown. Uh, how are Harman Preet and Smriti doing? All of that. Yeah. So my favorite food, my cheat meal especially, is. uh cake i love cakes so yeah, just yesterday it was my mom's birthday and we baked uh, a chocolate cake so that was the cheat meal that i ate yesterday and also my mom's been trying out various stuff a lot of food she's been trying out and definitely she's gotten so much better in the lockdown at cooking so um yeah she's made a uh, crispy chicken then once she tried chicken samosas okay these are all uh, not that healthy stuff but once in a way it's fine for at least because we don't get to eat all this and uh, yeah i've been speaking to smriti arundhati uh, harleen radha and all these people we've been in touch uh, and they all are doing very well everyone is in the same state they're like we can't wait to you know get back on the field and get back with the team so yeah hopefully you know we'll meet soon and you know soon we'll see some live cricket going on absolutely and you know you just made your all time ipl 11 and named ms dhoni as your captain who would you pick in your team if there was a women's ipl team that was made who would i pick uh, uh, as my captain uh, are you saying and, as my and captain and the other members in the team as well uh, i'm as not really as a captain really and the other members in the team as well yeah i'm not really thought about that a lot i mean i'd have to really think about it but uh, Who would I make? I would make uh, Meg Lenning my captain definitely because she is one of the best captains uh, I've seen, and you know she's led Australia so many times and they've got so many titles. So yeah. So I am throwing all these volley of questions at you, and I've also been watching all your social media accounts. You've been interacting with a lot of your colleagues, putting up those videos on social media. How has that been going? I think it's. Uh, it's going really well the kind of love i'm getting from my fans on social media is really amazing and i feel really blessed by it and one more thing about social media is that you know it's a good way to connect to your fans to your people because uh, it's very difficult otherwise for cricketers to meet their fans and all that but you know i really love social media because one of the main reasons is you can connect to your people you can share about your life you can get to know about their life too and you know that's what uh, i try and do you know keep it as real as possible just be myself on social media and you know kind of balance it well not get too occupied with it also but kind of balance it well because you know it's going to help me uh, me develop my relation with my fans and also fans get to know us well because it's it's a rare opportunity for them to get to know us absolutely and which is why your fans love watching you and uh, finally jamaima before i let you go i know you've been itching to get back to the field and uh, probably thinking about it a lot so what is the one thought that comes to you once you're back on the ground back in action what is it that you're really wanting to do to do and the goals that you're setting for yourself i think the first thing i am going to do is the moment i step out on the ground i'm just going to stand and breathe because i've not seen green grass from a long time because i've just seen my home walls from so many like more than 2 months uh, but yeah my goal would be definitely you know it's a uh, time that i'll make most of that time because within a few once we are back within a few days you know we'll be having our tours we'll be having important tournaments and looking forward to the world cup in 21 so my goal is to be you know to do the best i can to get better and you know work on the areas that i think i need to develop and also which areas i'm strong kind of you know work on that to get stronger in those areas 
All right, Jamama, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Many thanks for joining us on Republic. Wishing you all the best for uh, your future endeavors. And of course, hope you get to do all that you've been wanting to do during a break during this lockdown. So thank you once again for talking to thank us. Thank you so much for having me. It was lovely chatting with you. Thank you.